Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to learn how to manipulate motion around a circle, again using the vector calculus in two dimensions to describe motion in a plane. The radius of the circle is equal to 2, and notice we're moving along the circle in this direction right here. Now, here we have a position vector, which points to any point along the circle, and we have a velocity vector, which is tangent to the curve and starts at the point where the position vector points to. If the radius of the circle is 2 and the position vector in general as a function of t, t being time, will be equal to 2 times the cosine of t in the i direction plus 2 times the sine of t in the j direction. Now let's say we want to know the position on the circle when t equals pi over 4. So we plug in pi over 4 for t, we have 2 times the cosine of that plus 2 times the sine of pi over 4. Pi, the cosine and the sine of pi over 4 is 0 0.707. So here we have the position as being 1.4 in the i direction plus 1.4 in the j direction. So it would be like at a 45 degree angle right there. Now, what is the velocity at that time? So now we want to find the velocity, which is going to be equal to the derivative of the position vector. So when we take the derivative, we get minus 2 times the sine of t in the i direction plus 2 times the cosine of t in the j direction. Again, if we want to know the velocity when time equals pi over 4, we, we plug that in for t, we get 0 0.707. For t, we get 0 0.707. So here we have now the velocity vector at time equals pi over 4. Notice that this component gives us the x component of the velocity. This component gives us the y component of the velocity. And notice the y component is pointing upward. The x component is pointing to the left. To the left would mean negative. And yes, indeed, that's why we have a negative for the velocity component in the x direction. If we want to find the magnitude of the velocity, the speed, we take the square root of the sum of the squares of the two components. So minus 1.4 squared plus 1.4 squared, that would be 2 plus 2 or 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so that means our velocity at that moment in time is equal to 2. It turns out that the velocity will always be the same amount on the circle in this particular case if we define our position vector as such. Of course, if we make the position vector differently, if, we, for example, we have some constant times t, then it'll move faster if the constant is greater than 1. If we have a constant times t where the constant is less than 1, it'll move slower. So the velocity is indeed determined by the position vector, which then, when we take the derivative of that, gives us the velocity vector. And so that's how that's done. Here's some simple example of how to represent motion in a plane going around the circle using this kind of notation.